Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Aviation accepts delivery of Magnix Electric Propulsion Unit. Also, Aeromech RVSM now available on Piper M500, M600, and Avidyne Atlas Multifunction FMS. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with. Aviation Aircraft has taken delivery of the first Alice EPU from Magnix, the company powering the electric aviation revolution, a milestone in the build of Alice as it prepares for first flight. The Alice all-electric aircraft, which may eventually fly nine passengers for up to 440 nautical miles, will be powered by Magnique's propulsion system. The flight-proven Magnique's EPU has been powering aircraft in flight since December of 2019 and are hoping for FAA Part 33 certification in 2022. The Magnique's delivery is one of the key milestones in getting emission-free, low-cost, all-electric aviation off the ground with the first flight of Alice, said Aviation CEO Omar Bar-Yohe. After many successful flights and tests, we're confident the system will propel us to bringing Alice to market and delivering a sustainable, scalable mobility solution that will revolutionize passenger and cargo flights. The Alice is the epitome of the future of air transportation. All electric by design, taking advantage of lightweight, powerful and reliable propulsion systems, said Roel Genzarski, CEO of Magnix. More news after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The First Flight Society announced that Sally K. Ride has been named the 2021 honoree to be inducted into the Dr. Paul E. Garber First Flight Shrine located in the Museum and Visitor Center at the Wright Brothers National Memorial, Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, USA. This honor is selected annually by a high-level panel appointed by the First Flight Society from among numerous nominations submitted from around the world, as well as a compiled list of qualified candidates. The FAA has announced the award of more than $898.9 million in infrastructure and safety projects through the fiscal year 2021 Airport Improvement Program. This total includes $113.5 million in American Rescue Plan Act funding to award old grants at a 100% federal share. This announcement includes 488 grants to 447 airports in 49 states and American Samoa, the Northern Mariana Islands, and Puerto Rico. Orbit, which hopes to be a space training company, has announced its first space training program. Astronaut Orientation, a three-day, four-night experience. The company will offer four pretty expensive courses in the fall of 2021, with three located in the United States and one in France. Each astronaut orientation will be limited to 10 guests to ensure personalized service. 
This program focuses on putting guests through a series of activities that may enlighten them about the different suborbital and orbital space flight offerings. In one exciting moment, the front fuselage of the first Boeing Saab T-7A Red Hawk Advanced Trainer was joined perfectly with its aft section in less than 30 minutes, a testament to the digital heritage of the U.S. Air Force's first E-Series aircraft and witness to the benefits of model-based engineering and 3D design. The digital splice was completed in 95% less time than traditional splices with substantial quality improvements. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Piper is now offering RVSM certification as a factory option on the Piper M500 and M600 turboprop aircraft. The RVSM STC was approved by Aeromex FAA STC ODA and previously only available post-production from selected avionics facilities. Piper M500 M600 customers will now be able to operate in RVSM airspace on the delivery flight home utilizing the full aircraft performance envelope. Operating in RVSM airspace will allow M500 M600 pilots to gain fuel savings, lower their carbon footprint, increase range, and fly above applicable weather. Owners investing in RVSM reportedly may expect higher resale values and shorter time on the market when it comes time to sell or trade. The RVSM STC has been approved by the FAA, EASA, and ANAC with Canadian approval in process. Opening RVSM airspace for Piper M500 and M600 products is a great opportunity for our owners and operators to unleash the full capability of the aircraft and operate above weather up to FL300 with increased range. Using the Aeromech STC, we deliver this performance upgrade prior to flyaway using Piper skill technicians with no avionics changes, said Piper Aircraft Product Marketing Manager, Bryant Elliott. Our last top story of the episode coming up after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Errol Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. This is our last top story of the show. Avidyne has received TSO and SEC approval from the FAA for installation of their Zeus-mounted Avidyne Atlas Multifunction FMS in Cessna Citation 560XL, XL, and XLS models. TSO approval also allows MRO facilities to begin performing their own SDCs and installations of in turbine class aircraft. Certification of the Avidyne Atlas is a huge step forward in FMS capability for turbine class aircraft and a big leap forward for our company as we continue our growth into the turbine markets, said Avidyne CEO Dan Schwinn. We've targeted Atlas as the FMS replacement specifically for console equipped jet operators to provide a highly capable navigation and flight management solution that pilots will find incredibly easy to use. 
Avidyne Atlas gives our customers a powerful new option when upgrading their GPS FMS navigation capabilities, especially in turbine class aircraft with older generation EFIS displays where options have been limited, said John Talmadge, Avidyne's Vice President of Worldwide Sales. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. And feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.